Cousins rumored that the 49ers are interested in good old Captain Kirk. I see that you're about to do the salute. Captain Kirk. <laughs> Kirk Cousins, the money man himself. This is the Vikings for me. This All is right. my thoughts on this. Okay. If I'm the Vikings, I don't hesitate to get rid of him. I don't care what you give me. Give me your first round pick, 12th pick overall. Give me that. Because essentially what I want to do is get out of that contract. You're not going to have another chance after this. $45 million next year. You're not going to have another chance. $45 million. You got Justin Jefferson. Got Adam Thielen. Got Dalvin Cook. That 12th pick can possibly trade Lance with all those weapons. You move on. You get a rookie quarterback on a rookie deal. You can start clearing that cap space up and start building for the future. You would also have the 14th pick right after. So you'd have the 12th and Even 14th. that. And you can keep building after. You might can find, um, get Trayvon Moirig and replace Harrison Smith because Harrison Smith ain't got that much time left. Yeah, that he's on the last year of his deal, I believe. Harrison the 49ers, Smith. on the other hand, if they want Kirk Cousins, I don't mind them getting them because I think Kirk Cousins with the Kevin Bourne, Brandon IU, Debo Samuel, Seven Coleman, George Kittle, and Raheem Moist, I think he'll be fine. You're only asking Kirk Cousins to make the throw that Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't, and he can do that. That's all you're asking him to do with that defense. So I think it's a win-win for both sides. But if I'm the Vikings, you can have them. You can have them because that contract won't be on ours no more. They need, to, they need to get on that pronto. They should right. be finalizing the deal right now. Right. Now, what happens with Jimmy G? At trade him back point. to New England. All right, but at the same now, like, do you kill his trade value when you go after Kirk, or do you have to try to get it in some sort of three way deal? Because, like, now that you went and got Kirk, everybody knows you're offloading. It, they actually might not even trade you. They may say you're going to have to cut him because you can't afford to pay him. Well, I think if they if if New England doesn't, I think if they don't try to like offer Jimmy, G, I think you offer Jimmy Garoppolo back. So you can get one of those picks that you gave away to the Vikings, to New England. That's why I think they should try to do. But if you go out and get Kirk Cousins and nobody wants Jimmy Garoppolo, then you just But Jimmy G's him. not going to get you a first rounder. May he get you a second and a third? I mean, he was only a second back in the day. Now he's older. He hasn't looked very good. He's injury prone. Like but He was a second when he was like supposed to be the second coming of Tom Brady. You would be correct if it was any other team. But the fact that it's New England, that's different. Bill Belichick probably still want him. He really didn't want to let him go. Right, he wanted to let Tom go. Robert Kraft forced him to let Jimmy G go. Right, so now is Robert Kraft going to trade draft capital to go get him back, though? I mean, he's the owner. He gets final say. He just might have to if nobody wants to come there. You're not going to re-sign Cam Newton. So if you're not going to draft the quarterback, go get Jimmy Garoppolo. Or, like you said, cut him. You have to call it back. Oh, well, right. I don't know the if they can, if they could cut him due to cap. I don't know, but the point is, is like you have killed your cap situation trading for Kirk without having already handled the Jimmy G situation. Now, also, what's going to put a big kink in this, which is why I don't believe it's going to happen. I think this rumor will stay a rumor, and it will never Probably. happen. Probably. Is a Vikings insiders are saying that the Vikings are not desperate to trade Kirk. So a first round pick for Kirk is not going to get it done. They should be. What do they? What do they? What is wrong with them? They never can get over the hump. You can't let Kirk go. Get out of that contract, or you stunt in your team's growth. You can't do much right now anyway because of Kirk. So why are you not desperate? If I can get a first round pick and get a Trey Lance with Dalvin Cook and how that run game would be. You got Justin Jefferson. You still got a veteran Kyle Rudolph. And you still got Adam Thielen. And you probably get another weapon. Why not this offload Kirk? You're not going nowhere with him. So do you take Jimmy? Because Trey Lance might not be there. If if I can restructure Jimmy for make him take a huge pay cut, that's the only way I'm taking it. Otherwise, screw it. No. Yeah, I think he's a $26 million cap hit this year, $27 million next year. Do you keep that instead of Kirk and think you can get a similar thing out of Kirk and then you also get a first-round pick? Yeah. Ain't nobody else going to trade for Kirk Cousins. 
Yeah, I don't so know. So you gotta look at it that way too. Well, as I said, they're not desperate. They're looking for a they're looking for a good deal. So they probably would want first plus, like first Jimmy and more. I just ask for a first, a third, and a fifth. First, third, fifth. That's Jimmy it. or no Jimmy? No Jimmy. <laughs> well, who's your quarterback gonna be? I'm gonna draft one. So if Trey Lance ain't there, you're gonna go for what Trask or Newman or something? Why not? I, I'm not. Well, I know you that. love Newman, but I don't know. It's interesting. Well, I mean, now you're like relying heavy on him because who is your who's going to be your veteran presence at all? I don't know. Let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, all right, X Man agrees. Put Jimmy back in New England. He's a Patriots fan, so he likes that one. <laughs> uh, San says, "I know the 49ers need a QB, but come on, do you could do better than kissing cousins." <laughs> I'm surprised I just read that out loud. Uh, just find you a QB and to fit your offense and stink it up. And not stink it up, excuse me. Lante says they have to get it done in a three-way deal. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, like, they're not going to trade it without knowing what this stance is on Jimmy G. Because I don't even know if you can cut him. Uh, Asan says Jimmy G is worth a fourth, maybe a fifth. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Mark Kern says Derek Carr is the best fit in New England. And that is an awesome segue 